So let's jump right into it. The three hacks that we know can boost your score into the 800s as quickly as one to two months. And they only take 10 minutes right now in this video for you to implement. Hey, I'm Chad. And I'm Hannah. About two weeks ago, we quit our jobs and booked round the world business class tickets with over two million miles that we earned in the last year. We've been featured in a dozen different articles and news publications worldwide. And this morning, we're cracking the credit card code. Now One young couple figured out how to build up enough airline strength to quit their jobs and free. travel the yeah, world. Opening and closing them, right? Down how down has that down affected down your down credit down score? Down so two years ago, down when down I first, down down first down started down learning down about travel hacking, up my down score down was at a 670. Over the last two years, my score has shot up to a 794. We're traveling to over 40 countries and on the way, every single time we fly from one location to the next, we want to share our travel hacks and personal finance tips to help you travel the world for free as well. Today we're talking about credit scores, so if that interests you and you want to learn more, hit the like button and hit subscribe so you can follow along with our journey. Probably like really annoying, but honestly, we've never fun this before. This is special. It's very special. You don't have to wait in the line. We're gonna show you right now. on G3 on top of G3. You share with United. We're almost to the lounge and it's another video, but we're gonna share with you guys how we get into these lounges for free. Definitely enough to tell for another video, but for today we're gonna stick to credit scores. We are posted right next to Magazine Head under the line. Alright, so we're gonna get to the credit scores, promise, but it's gonna take about 30 seconds because first we wanna go get some food. There's a buffet. There's a buffet and we're a bit hungry, so first food, then we're gonna explain the three secret hacks to you guys. Let's do it. <laughs> So again, if you're new to this channel and want to learn how we fly for free around the world so that you can do the same, hit subscribe. We'd love to have you join our journey and participate in the travel day tidbits that we share when we're traveling from one country to the next. We'll be traveling to over 40 countries, so there's a lot of secrets and hacks that we're going to share with you over this time. So let's jump right into it. The three hacks that we know can boost your score into the 800s as quickly as one to two months and they only take 10 minutes right now in this video for you to implement. Before we jump into it, let's actually discuss what a credit score is and how it's used. A credit score is used by lending agencies here in the United States and around the world with different credit scores to determine your eligibility for loans or credit cards. 
And so what these lending agencies will do is they'll look at your credit score, which is a range of anywhere from a 300 to 850, and determine how likely you are or how responsible you are to pay back any debts that you have to that lending agency. So when you look at a credit score, it's very important for you to make sure you master it and have as high of a score as possible so that you're seen or viewed as more responsible for these lending agencies. So with that in mind, let's jump into exactly how you today, during this video, can boost your score to an 800 before the end of the video. We know these tips have worked because we've tried them on my own score. My score when we started doing this was a 670 and now it is a 795, so it works. And it's important because if you want to travel like us, you need a high score to get the best credit cards. Alright, tip number one. It's called piggybacking. The way piggybacking works is you become an authorized user on someone else's account that they've had for a long time. Let's say your dad has had a credit card for the last 10 years and he puts you as an authorized user on that card, meaning you don't own the rights to that card, but you are authorized to use that card under his name. What that does for you is you would then assume all of the credit history of that account. So if he's had it for 10 years, you now have a credit history of 10 years. If he's made 100 payments on time, you have 100 payments on time. If there is a credit utilization of 0% and a credit limit of $10,000, you have a credit limit of $10,000. So you essentially assume all of the wonderful positive credit history that he's done for you in this case. So the first tip, super easy, will boost your credit score super quickly, is called piggybacking. And it takes about five minutes to do. So if you want to implement this one, give your dad a call or give your friend a call, your mom, your aunt, whoever it is that may be willing to do this for you and see if they're, if they're able to put you as an authorized user on their account. The most common question we get when we recommend piggybacking is from the owner saying, is this going to negatively affect me by putting uh, my son or by putting you on their credit account? And the answer to that is no, it won't affect them negatively. The only thing that they are liable for in this case is anything you purchase. So if they're gonna give you that credit card or put you on that mortgage and you go out and you spend a ton of money on that credit card, they are liable and responsible for paying that off. But if you don't spend any money and they essentially just put your credit card away and they've used the credit card account as a way to facilitate a higher credit score for you, then they're good. They're not gonna see any negative effects and they've only really helped you boost your credit score by passing along all of the wonderful benefits and credit history that they've done on that account for 10 years or however long the period was for it. So if you're going to look to implement this first step or this first tip called piggybacking, there are a few things that you should look for in the account that you hopefully become an authorized user on. The first thing is credit length. So you want to look at that account and hopefully the credit length is somewhere above five years. If it's three plus, that's good, but try to aim for the higher the better. The second thing you want to worry about is has that person ever missed a payment on that credit account? If they have, it could actually be detrimental to your, to your credit score. If they haven't missed a payment, this is actually really good. The second thing you should check for, have they missed any payments? Third, their credit utilization. Do they have a high credit limit? If the credit limit is $25,000 plus, that is super good for you. That means that your utilization will be low and you're assuming a very solid, positive account for your credit history as well. Tip number two, pay your credit card off before the end of the billing cycle. Your billing cycle ends on a specific day of the month and it's totally dependent on your credit card. So go online and find your credit card billing cycle end date and then set an alarm on your phone two days before to pay off your credit card. Your payment will post the day before your billing cycle ends, therefore reducing the balance reported back to the bureaus. That means your credit utilization will be lower therefore boosting your credit score. All right, so we got kicked out of the lounge because our flight's taking off in like 30 minutes. So the rest of this video is gonna be done on the way to our gate. All right, tip number three is to set up automatic payments. It's super easy to do, but it depends on your bank how it's done. Usually you just go to your bank's website, look under the billing section, and you can set up automatic payments to pay off the full balance of your credit card 
every single month before the due date. So you never miss a payment, you never charge any fees, and you're not dinged on your credit score. super blown away we're doing this. It's like so much different than anything we've ever experienced. Also what? You can tell we're not used to it. See, I wouldn't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Anyways, we're super stoked about this experience. This isn't the last time. We're going to be doing a lot of business class flights around the world. So we're really excited to try them out on different airlines, compare the different ones that we're on, and then see which one we like best. So if you're new to this channel and you want to learn more about personal finance, travel hacks, flying the world for free, whatever it is, these are the things we cover in this channel. So if you want to learn those things, hit subscribe. We're stoked to have you with us. Hit us up in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Today, we're halfway to Tokyo. We just flew to Beijing. We're about to hop on our flight from Beijing to Tokyo, where we're gonna spend the next week. And so I wanted to take the time in this segment today to talk more generally about the five factors to your credit score and how you can manipulate those five factors to boost your credit score to whatever goal you have, whether that's a 750, a 700, or an 800. We'll jump into it in this discussion today.